decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back, no turning back, no turning back. Hello and welcome to Living Supernaturally. Uh, in this series, we're going to look at some of the songs that have blessed the church and we pray that um, just knowing about these songs and knowing about the songwriter will bless you as well. Ephesians 5 and verses 18 and 19, it says, Do not be drunk with wine in which is dissipation, but be filled with the Spirit, speaking to one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. Uh, this song I have decided uh, the origins of the words of this song are not really clear. There are several theories and, uh, and several uh, uh, credits, but um, we don't know, it's, un it's, it's not conclusive. But some say that it was Sadhu Sundar Singh who wrote these words. And another uh, 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 account is that there was a person by name Simon K. Marak, uh, a school teacher, a pastor from the Garo, uh, hills of Northeast India and uh, it was him, it was he who wrote these songs and uh, this song and he taught it to his children and when they got married and when they moved, they, um, they taught it to their families as well. Uh, another account is that um, soon after or years after the Welsh revival, there were some miss uh, missionaries uh, who came to India and uh, they did some work in the northeast part of India uh, among the Garo uh, tribes. And uh, one of the, one of the uh, young men who came to the Lord was uh, by, by name Nok Seng. So he and his family came to the Lord Jesus. And um, the tribe, the tribe, uh, the chief of the tribe who, when he came to know about this, he was very angry and uh, he called the whole family out and uh, he asked uh, Nok Seng to renounce his faith in Jesus. He said, recant your faith, renounce uh, your faith. And um, Nok Seng said, no. He said, I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. And then his, uh, his two sons, his two children were killed uh, by the chief. And, and again, he asked him the question, you know, will you renounce Jesus? And Nok Seng said again, uh, though none go with me, still I will follow. No turning back, no turning back. And his wife was killed. And for the third time, he was asked the question again, um, will you renounce Jesus? And he said, uh, the world behind me, the cross before me, uh, no turning back, no turning back. And uh, he was martyred for his faith. Now, this, the story goes that um, the chief, when he, he got so curious when he saw the faith of Nok Seng, uh, in, in someone who lived 2000 years back and uh, why he was so passionate about this Jesus. So he got curious and he came to know about Jesus, had an encounter and he became a believer himself. So uh, these are some accounts that we have about this song. But um, the question is, you know, how strong is our commitment to the Lord? Are we saying no turning back, no turning back? Though none go with me, still I will follow. No none go with me, still I will follow. Though none go with me, still I will follow. No turning back, no turning back. Shall we pray? Father, we pray that, uh, that you will give us such faith that we will stand strong in the face of opposition, in the face of persecution. Um, oh God, that our commitment to the truth of your word, to the truth of who you are, God, will be strong. And we will be able to declare no turning back, no turning back. Yes, Lord, strengthen us, strengthen our faith today. 
even as we go about doing everything in the places where you have placed us, God. May we declare, may our lives boldly declare, no turning back, no turning back. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.